Hi, I'm Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to learn what to do when the background disappears when you are changing your clip art image to an SVG. So I hope you like this video and that you click and subscribe, hit that bell button to get notified of future videos. So we are on clipartlibrary.com. I love this website because it tells you the copyright of your images. This one's for personal use. So we're going to go ahead and right click and hit copy image. Bring up your Inkscape and right click and hit paste. And that will bring your image into Inkscape. Then you're gonna to go to the top and you're going to click path and then click trace bitmap. And then that brings up this window. You're going to check live preview, check colors, uncheck the smooth button, check box remove background, and you're going to lower down the scans. If you lower it down to two, you can see we lost the blue image. So I wanna increase that to three and that gives us all the colors we have. Hit okay and hit the X button. Now it doesn't look like it did anything because it's over top of your original. So you will need to click and drag off the copied image. So hold control on your computer and use the mouse wheel and go up on the mouse wheel to zoom in. Then you're going to go to object at the top and you're going to click ungroup. Then you're going to click on your image and you'll click and drag off your layers. So I have a blue layer and if I click and drag, I can see I only have a red layer. There is no white layer. And so that's why we're going to have to create a background. So you're gonna to go to layer and we're going to duplicate layer on the red layer. I'm going to click that off and drag that off to the side. Then I'm going to go to path, break apart. And then I will go to path union. And that's normally how you would get a background. But the problem is, is that this isn't connected. So you're going to come down in between the pencil and the pen and it says draw Beezer curves and straight lines. You wanna click that. And that's going to let you draw in the background. So the goal here is to click around the bottom of the lighthouse. So I'm clicking on each segment. I'm clicking on the top and on the bottom of the red swirls. And then I'm going to click around the base. So it's literally just click, move the mouse where you want the next click to go, then click. And when you do this, you see the little gray things that say that it's getting on that node. If you can get that, you want it to say that because that's gonna give you the best outline. You're going to need to go around the image until you get back to the beginning. Once you're back to the beginning, it will turn black, which is what you want. Then you're gonna to go to the side and you're going to select your image. So you're going to need to select the entire thing. And for whatever reason, it didn't select that time. So I'm going to redo it. So it's just click and drag over top of your image. Go to path, combined. You wanna hit combined. Then you're going to go to path, break apart. Then go to path and union. And now the only thing that we're going to have to deal with is this weird little line there. So we're going to go to the, the delete nodes button, which is the arrow and the three dots, and I'm clicking and dragging, and I'm hitting delete on the keyboard. And then I'm going to hit control and scroll up on the wheel to zoom in. And I need to get that piece over to the left. So I'm going to grab that and just click and drag that over to the corner. And that's going to give you your outline. So hit contr hold control on your keyboard, and this time go down on the wheel and that's going to have you zoom out. So as we zoom out, the computer program did glitch a little bit, which I've never had it happen because you can see there's those little gaps on the line there. And I was a little confused at what was going on. But as I waited, it, the computer program caught up and there really was no problem with that. So we're just gonna zoom out a little bit more by holding control and going down on the wheel. 
if you need to move over to get to your images, you're going to just hold in the click and just move the mouse over. And so we're going to move the layers on top. And if I look at this blue layer, I can see there's some dots I don't want. So I'm going to hit the delete node button, which is on the left. It's the arrow with the three dots. And you're just going to click and drag and hit delete on the keyboard. And that's going to delete these weird unwanted nodes that are on here. Your computer would cut out a really weird hole right there if you didn't delete those. And now there's a group of nodes. So I'm just clicking over top of all of those and also hitting delete on the keyboard. And that's gonna give you a better finish and make this more of an oval shape, which is what we want. For some reason, sometimes it just gets a bunch of cluster of nodes together and it's just too much for the machine. So just click on them and then hit delete on the keyboard and that gives you a much better image. So now we're going to click on that. So I'm going to need to go to the left and hit the arrow button and that will let me select that. So I'm going to select that and move it over and drag it over top of my image. And then I'm going to select the things I don't want and hit delete on the keyboard. Now make sure you don't forget the original lighthouse that we had left behind. So you want to click on it, hit delete on the keyboard. Now we're ready to save this. So go to file and click save as, and then you can save this as any title that you want. So make sure you stay tuned because on Friday, we're going to create a card with this lighthouse image that we just created. So I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. Please click subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of future videos. Bye now.